You know, it was just one of those things where there was a, a request and they said, we like this song. And um, I asked to see the commercial first to make sure it wasn't something I disagreed with. And uh, the commercial seemed nice. I was like, okay, I like cameras, this works. And uh, that was that. I never didn't really think anything of it. And then maybe like six months later, it was just like the best promotion thing I've ever done. I make music for personal reasons and I'll make it regardless, even if no one listens, like I kind of have to make it or I'm not happy. So, uh, but once I'm done with it, I think it's cool to see what other people do with it or how they interpret it. Like I always have mine, but yeah, once it's finished, I let it go, move on to the next one. When you leave home for a while and then you come back, there's always kind of a, I think a little bit of a bittersweet feeling about it. Like it's good to see everything that was familiar, but it's also, you kind of see where everything's moved on without you. Like you're not a part of that anymore. And uh, I remember that feeling really specifically. And uh, I wanted to see if I could get that in music. So it's something happy and sad at the same time. I kind of have a rule of make the music with what you have at the time. It can be very easy to, to postpone things because you think, well, eventually I'll have more resources or more money or a better place to work or something. But I, I don't like thinking that way because you just never do anything. So uh, that was one of those songs where I had two microphones and I was just in the shed. I didn't have drums, so I just used my lap and hand claps and stomped on wood, whatever I could find. I now have more of a, I guess, career. Feels like I'm getting away with something right now. Like it's. I'm going to do it as long as I can, but I don't like hold my breath that I'm going to have a long lasting music career. But for now it's working and I'll run with it. <laughs> <laughs>